Let's go. Quickly switch. Put in your hand in play. Let's go. It's live. The Richmond Spiders open the season Friday, August 19th at Longwood. It has been an intense preseason for the Spiders, who are looking to rebound from a disappointing 2015 season. Right now we're trying to do the things that we can do in August, which is establish our identity, to sharpen our uh, sort of our technical base, and to find combinations of players that work well together. Um, we're trying not to look forward to the A-10s or to the postseason. Um, we feel that if we build a found, strong foundation in August and, and through the early part of the non-conference season, that um, that'll put us in a position to be successful later. Health and fitness has been a major focus for Richmond this fall. Their Spiders collectively had nine surgeries resulting from the 2015 season. Definitely it's so hard to see teammates go down and like me being one of them, it's just like heartbreaking because all you want to do is be out on the, on the field with your teammates and be playing. But I think um, we all used it kind of as like a rehab, like we'd go to, get to rehab together, work together, push each other. So knowing that you weren't alone in the process and um, it, was, it was nice to be able to push your teammates through and we kind of made each other better. Um, everybody wanted to get ahead of each other in rehab, so that was good. And it's really exciting to see everybody back on the field now. Another area of focus has been the offense. Two years ago, the Spiders were among the top scoring teams in the Atlantic 10 with 37 line. goals. Last year, you are put only 19 balls in the back of the net. I think that we're just committed to finishing. This year, I know that 19 goals was really not what we were striving for, and to be the lowest of the conference is not a great feeling, but um, we worked on finishing a lot this summer and this preseason we've worked on finishing a lot more than we have last year. Uh, also having our nine players back, including Megan Kerrigan, who was a great lethal finisher for us, having her back training with us um, is, is really beneficial to our team and our attacking half. The training so far this year has been good. We have more experience. Um, we have more speed. Speed is, uh, is, is a critical component. Uh, both speed of play and, and, and foot speed, and um, we have both. We have a, an excellent playmaking midfielder in, in Brooke Beam, and we have some, uh, you know, some kids who can stretch the team, um, Ella Star Stout and Maya Wright, and of course, uh, you know, Perlman is, uh, I think, the top, perhaps the top forward in the A-10. Ah! Ah! the team. I think we're looking really great. I think everybody knows like what's at stake. I mean, we're not seated to do well this season, so we're out to prove everyone wrong. Expectations, people aren't really expecting a lot from us, so I'm excited to play a chip, chip on our shoulder and just go out there and really show them. I love this team. I think we have phenomenal potential. I'm very excited. Um, I think people are going to be surprised.